Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlog. As you can see, as you saw, the water is quite misty, quite foggy. So, not sure if we'll be going out first session this morning. We've got a little bit more intensity, probably the last longer intensity before this weekend today on the water. But I'm not sure if that'll be first or second session. We will see when we get uh, into the club and the safety officer decides what to do. But first, finish smoothie, get changed, get stretched, and get ready to roll slash erg. All right. And that's us finished another session and learn to rope hair. Oh, yeah, now it's time to go get breakfast because food is fuel. Oh. And we've made it into the crew room. Oh, yeah, after a decent session in the learn to rope hair. We are. Only decent today. Usually great. What's up? <laughs> it went well today. It was a bit choppy at points, but that is to be expected as there are where a lot of boats out in the water today, unlike yesterday. But I've got my breaded egg toast. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use this to fuel up. After said session, then we're going to have a chat, aren't we, Cal? Uh, and we've made it downstairs to the gym floor. It's time to go out onto the water. made it back into the crew room after that workout in the pair with Robson. Unfortunately, I did not charge the GoPro batteries, so there was no higher intensity. So I put in some other high intensity from another session at some point. Absolutely excellent. So we're going to fuel up on this spaghetti bolognese. Absolutely delicious. Manny, what have you got for lunch today? I'm not sure that's fine, man. I'm not. I'm from my fine, <laughs> But now it's time to fuel up because food is fuel and then we'll have a little chat when we're done here. Oh yeah! And we've made it outside of the club on this excellent day so the sun has faded. Luckily it hasn't really rained but as you can tell from the title we're talking about rest and recovery. Especially as it's becoming into trials week and sort of the taper if you will happens. So taper, especially for me, is when I start to, well, when training or the volume starts to decrease and you start to get kind of like, okay, and antsy and want to want to go and want to go do more. But that's when you really want to, to make sure what you're doing is, everything what you're doing is beneficial to what you're tapering for. So for me, it is trials this weekend. And so you don't want to spend too much energy, say throughout the week when you're trying to essentially save energy for the weekend. So I've got the 2K on Saturday and the 5K on the water on Sunday. So it's going to be a lot of energy being spent. So you want to reserve as much energy as possible over the taper. So some people like to taper in many different ways. And that can be through reduction of volume uh, and changing the way you roll. So dropping the intensity. Uh, and usually it's a reduction of something, whether it's intensity or volume. And this can also be done in a different way as well. It doesn't have to apply to rowing or sport, really. It can go, really go into any sort of event you've got coming up. It's about focusing the body, focusing the mind on that one thing, that one goal that you've got coming up. So I've discussed 
cutting big goals into manageable chunks and then when you do come up to that big goal you've had all these smaller goals you've met them or you haven't but you've got to the small goals and now the big goal is where you are just about to get to or the big event or whatever it is you're just about there and you want the mind to be on peak form you want the body to be on peak form so you can just smash it out the park and really yam on it in many different ways whether that's just on an oar or some sort of speech maybe and you just really want to leave everyone thinking yeah that's the person I want to imitate perhaps but that's what the taper week is all about and another thing like I see a lot of people when they're tapering just oh I'm, I feel so great I'm gonna go and do an extra session or whatever but that's when you have to think nope I'm saving this energy for the weekend or whenever the, the event is and also a huge part of taper week as well is sleep speaking of sleep uh, I've, I've been having really really good sleep with my Simba mattress that I got that'll be a few weeks ago now uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to take a look there's some money off I think it's like 75 pound off a mattress if you want to have a look so the links in the description below just for so i went from an older mattress to this new one and it's increased my sleep increased my ability to sleep increased the comfort etc much much more than i anticipated so that's awesome but sleep in the taper week sleep itself is you sleep when you're tired or like you sleep to recover from tiredness etc so when you're doing less training or you've got less going on you might feel less tired or you you should feel less tired so that's when you come into like a a battle with yourself of okay i'm going to go to bed at the same time i'm going to keep a schedule normal so i'm waking up at the same time i'm training at the same time but i don't feel like i want to go to sleep and then you start having difficulties going to sleep and then things can sort of like run it get out of control real fast so it is taper week is about keeping everything outside of the reduction of training or whatever it is keeping that focus going but making sure it's as normal as possible outside of rowing really maybe a little bit of reduction and say so you, like i said if you're trying to do an extra thing here or there maybe less extra but normal like food wise you don't want to just start like bulking on the food um sleep wise you want to try and keep the sleep as normal as possible you don't all of a sudden since you're doing less training to have less sleep so I'm trying to go to bed uh, at the normal times and then wake up at normal times but what I find especially as the taper gets longer at the end of the taper it's like oh I'm too jittery I'm too ants antsy and I'm trying to do something where I want to get to sleep so in those occasions when you're struggling to get to, street, to, get to sleep if it's the day before uh, or a big event or whatever it is what I like to do and obviously everyone has different methods of, of sleeping uh, but if I'm struggling to get to sleep what I'll do is one really important thing is resting is still important if you're not sleeping so sitting on your phone or doing things that are just distracting your mind can be a bit not good so what you want to do is just shut your eyes and rest but if you can't get to sleep but one way I can sort of force myself into sleep is literally just closing my eyes and counting my breaths usually i never get very high and by the time i've realized what i'm doing i'm asleep or not realized what i'm doing i'm asleep so that's one tip so counting your breaths big deep breaths counting them going through i never usually get to 100 and then i'm asleep and then i wake up so that's pretty cool but that will be it for today's episode hopefully you enjoyed it yam squad and remember subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button have a good one